conceived in Hawaii, born in Lebanon and raised in Canada. Keanu Reeves grew up with a very interesting mix of influences. Which ones he drew on for his portrayal of Ted Logan in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure in 1989 is anyone's guess. In 1994, he scored the lead role in the thriller Speed, which introduced him to Sandra Bullock. Twelve years later, they reminisced about their very first meeting. It was uh, at the, uh, well, you were auditioning for Speed. Yeah, he already had the part. <laughs> I had the part. And, but I was still figuring the role out, figuring things out, and uh, we, ha we had the scene where uh, Jack Trevin and Annie are on the bus, and, and I remember... And know, I had it with the imaginary... With the imaginary This is where you wheel. commit to your craft to go, I look like an ass, <laughs> I look like an ass. Yeah. And then we were on the floor, and then he started talking like Elvis, and... Right, and you said, who are you, Elvis? But his biggest action role has been the hero Neo in the sci-fi extravaganza The Matrix. While the first film was only a modest hit, the two sequels went nuclear. I mean, I really love the films, so hopefully people will, you know, love them as well. You know? So it's, it's great to be a part of something that people, you know, enjoy. In 2003, he received great reviews for his supporting role in Something's Gotta Give, in which he plays a doctor battling it out for Diane Keaton's affections. It was one of the best scripts I've ever read um, in Something's Gotta Give. I think Nancy Myers wrote beautiful script. This is funny, touching, and, and, uh, and a great role, and to work with something that goes from, if I was going to contrast them, I'd say the formalism of the Matrix and going to something that's so naturalistic is something it's got to give us a great opportunity as an actor, and it's something that I hope to, uh, to be able to do, you know, different kinds of roles, different kinds of films. He fulfilled his wish in A Scanner Darkly, a film so complex he finds it hard to describe. So it's, it's got something to say about our, the world we live in. Uh, there's a little romance, it's funny, it's a little sinister, um, it's cautionary. So I think it's, uh, it's a multi-layered, kind of genre-ambitious, original film.